Good morning reception and welcome to your last video looking at halving. So our unit for the week is to learn and know how we can find halves of amounts and numbers. So just before we start our new learning today, we're going to do our retrieval practice. So this is looking at something that we looked at yesterday. So which part part whole is representing the addition calculation? OK, so which part part whole is representing the addition calculation? And the calculation is 8 equals 4 add 4. I'll say that again. 8 equals 4 add 4. So which part part whole is showing that calculation? Is it A, B or C? Pause the video to have a good look and read through the question again if you need to and then press play and I'll give you the answer. Hopefully you've all had a go and worked out which part part whole is representing the addition calculation 8 equals 4 add 4 and it is B because we have eight spots in the top circle in the whole and it's made up of a four and a four. So we've divided it, we've split it into two equal groups. Well done. So our learning objective for the week is to be able to find and represent halving. And already we've looked at finding halves using manipulatives, so our real life objects. And we began looking at representing halves of an amount, looking at our part part whole models. And today we're going to tick off this last success criteria of solving halving problems. So just a quick recap of our vocabulary and language that we should be using. So halving is splitting or dividing an amount or number into two groups, just like my diagram over here. So we say the sentence half of two is one. It's also known as sharing and equally and it's the opposite of doubling. So we looked at this in the last video at how we'd write the addition calculation. And remember, it's a bit tricky because we have to flip it and turn it around. So we start with the equals because we start with the whole at the top and then the adding shows us what that number is made up of. So here is our first problem solving question. So make sure you are listening. Monkey had 10 bananas and ate half of them. How many did he eat? I'll read it again. Monkey had 10 bananas and ate half of them. How many did he eat? So this question is telling us that Monkey started off with 10 bananas and that he ate half of them. So we've got to find half of 10. So here I've used some dots to represent my 10 bananas. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep, I've got my 10 bananas. And then over here, I've got my two groups. So remember, I need to share them equally between these two groups to find half. And here I've done that. So let's count how many we've got in each group. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just write that next to it so we remember. And how many in the bottom group? One, two, three, four, five. So together we have found that half of 10 is five. So monkey ate five bananas. Well done. I'm going to go for a part part hole. So I'm going to draw my hole at the top and then my parts at the bottom. And I need to draw my six in the top bubble. Four, oh, five, six. And then I need to cross them off and share them equally between the two creeps. So I'm going to draw one in there, one in that bubble, one in that bubble, in the other one. Two more. There we go. Oh, my drawing's a bit rough today. So then I need to count how many I have in each part. One, two, three. Two, 
And then in the other part, one, two, three. So half of six is three. So I would have used three bricks to build my tower. Now you might have done a part, part, whole, or maybe you had time to go gather some manipulatives and moved them into the two groups yourself. So today's task is to complete the worded problems on the sheet. You might need an adult to help read them out for you, but you should try your best to have a go at working it out independently, so on your own. Now remember, you might have to use some of the methods that we have learnt this week. So that is using our real life objects and separating them physically into two groups or using our part part holes. And at the top, I've kept that vocabulary box. So two groups, half of is that we're sharing and it has to be equal. Well done, reception. You've worked super hard this week at your halving. It is quite tricky to understand. So let's just reflect on what we have done. So we have looked at finding and representing halving. And we've done this using manipulatives so we can give that a tick. We've also represented halves and amount using our part, part, whole. And today we've looked at solving halving problems and you've done that really well. So well done.